Nelk and Andrew Schultz speaking of, uh, of like calling you a cheapskate yep. over here. Yep. So I watched that podcast and it was just it's so interesting to me to see how that all went down with Steiny and Andrew Schultz. Did you see anything about I, it? Yeah, I, I did see it, man. That was that was brutal. I love it. He got Schultz. pulverized. It was it was I a love fun Andrew watch. Schultz it was so a fun, much. He go, a he fun go, watch. He goes, nah, that's what you should be doing. You're getting your moments. Yeah. Get yeah. Your moments, yeah. Champ. Yeah. The, the interesting thing about that show was Andrew you know, obviously the main core of the discussion is on Steiny. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to talk about Steiny, about the why the episode didn't air, so on and so forth. But Andrew, I I don't think I've ever seen Andrew come to a show with that type of energy before. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and I, and I Do know- Do you know the situation? I, yeah, I know there was some stuff that happened before the show. No, no, no. Dude, Kyle has done an excellent job of building a brand. I've always had difficulty like vibing with him he's i i, I don't when he I when kyle he started kyle, a podcast I, I, I thought how how is he gonna do this mm -hmm. and they've done an incredible job and somehow stayed afloat but when andrew went on that podcast and said what he said during and after i said to myself how is this not the sentiment for every single sh show well, that they have yeah 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 so i watched the whole thing i watched from the beginning and i think kyle and steve were very respectful right off the bat this and andrew fucking, andrew, andrew no 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 because i fucking like kyle i like kyle i just i i've no, never no, found no, him no, listen, like a, listen, like a listen. talker i don't think he, i don't the think the only person we're bullying bullying here is stein no no hold on jeff jeff let me i want to i want to i want to get the broom out for a second and work with you on this they don't they are they kyle is not claiming to have a a a it's not a podcast it's like you sit down with a bunch of homies and you bullshit. their their but show Schultz is very is, their show is very loose like homies together like maybe like, maybe they didn't have, maybe dude let me let me ask you this question how many shows have we had where we did a 10 p.m episode the vibe was just off there was and 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 now yes sure let's take it as a testament to the fact that we are very strong podcasters we pulled it together we made it look great but we have been through many shows where the vibe was off maybe they were having a bad day you got to walk before you run you know what and that mean? Listen, i mean like they at that time early on they had jumped into becoming one of the biggest shows without ever doing it yeah i agree like with that, that. agree with that and obviously like we were fans of podcasts before we started podcasting we're in in the entertainment business you know we've been around we know how to talk to people we know how to deal with people in tense situations you know we've all there been have there. been guests who have walked on this show where i hadn't heard of them until the day before the podcast yeah and guess what i did significant amount of research yep, yep, so i would yep. make the guests feel welcome yep, yep. appreciated respected yep. and relevant on my fucking show that i'm invited him on yeah but yeah, not andrew, only that is like andrew schultz is massive. not just a guy like he's yeah. highly entertaining he's very good at what he does Sharp like, from new york come on, from the bro. fucking show you, dude you don't even have to know about his career to have a good mm -hmm. conversation well that's what that no but 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 i believe that maybe that's what their sentiment was we can roll into this la lackadaisical <laughs> and and okay. and and and, reg and regardless it's andrew schultz they pro they could have yeah. sat on that couch and said andrew schultz is going to steer this thing to five million views for us but listen, we have to do listen, nothing listen. and going back to what i said I don't know what the reason was, but it was apparent from the start of that show that Andrew was not his normal, energetic, high vibrating mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. He just wasn't. Mm -hmm. And so if you are relying on the power of the guest, Andrew came on our show and weaved one of the most exciting narratives for 500 different stories. He's an incredible fucking guest. And if, and if someone comes to your show and they, and they don't show up the same way you've expected them to show up, it can throw a major dagger. Now, of course, like I said, as a testament, I am always ready. If that guest stops talking, I am always ready. I'm always packed with a question. I know my fucking shit, mm -hmm. always. And and he's ready too. Not for Jerry so, Perp drink. Not for Jerry Perp drink. But <laughs> but but I, I've I've said a lot of it too comes down to chemistry. Comes down to chemistry between co-hosts. I was pushing for Bradley Martin to be on every fucking show since that podcast started. I told Kyle, I told Bradley, I told John Shahidi. Bradley Martin needs to be on that fucking show. He's an incredible fucking podcast host. What? He was I, void I, I, from I, I, that I, I episode. I gotta say something about Bradley. Yep. I think you're getting lame. I think you're getting lame as a person or a person who's either searching for clicks. <laughs> Start those beefs. Nah, Start because bro, hey, look, I, I, I see what he's doing, but I just think it's weird. Like he had Nate Diaz, who mm -hmm. my brother's yeah, fighting yeah, on August 5th yeah, on his podcast. Yeah. And like in the same sentence, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm cool with Jake. I like Jake. You know, I just hope you beat his ass. I just want to see him get his ass beat. I want to see him get turned into a meme. Why, Bradley? You're cool with us. He's in the family. You even said yourself you like him. Why say that? Are you searching for clicks? 
Even the way you're talking about street fighting Nate, like, bro, you're not going to beat Nate Diaz in a street fight. You're just searching for clicks. Well, what if he and, is? And if, if he is. Yeah, what if he is? I think he's lame. I okay, think you're better okay, than that, Bradley. Okay, okay. I, think you're, I think you're a cool fucking guy. You're a well-versed guy. You, you have your own podcast. You're great on the Net podcast. podcast. You're good at talking. You're likable. You're not a guy who has to, like, create beefs to be cool or relevant. This especially is. especially when it comes to, like, Jake. Like, you guys are cool. Why, why, would, why would you say that? Sometimes people like just like to see chaos and see the world burn, you know? I, like, I think it's lame. I think it's better than that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is an well, we started this off is... saying Bradley was good. Now we're going no, Bradley. No, stop. He said that. He said that. I think he's a great podcast. No, you know, yeah. I think, I think his, his current take online on certain things is, is, is very reachy. You're, you're reaching for that attention. You're reaching for that clout. You're trying to get that headline. And... For people who you have real life relationships with, sacrificing one for the other is fucking lame. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, the good thing about what you just said is I fly back to LA on Monday and go straight to this podcast. Nice. So, so and I'm, I'm having Steiny. No, 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 no. So, the, so the funny thing is he'll actually get to respond to this clip with me on the show, and he'll have a response to it, which is which is fantastic. Yeah, but can you make sure his response is is based no, 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 like because the current climate. Sure, like, sure. Like, look, and I, I. I I'm saying it's lame because I've done it. I've been there, dude. I've been in a position where I'm like, I'm just going to fucking do the crazy shit I can to get clicks. And it's fucking lame. Okay, You're in a lame but, spot but, in your but, life but, you need to do that. But, okay, let me, let me ask you this question. Th this, is, this is a very interesting conversation because as someone who has been there, maybe you harness the empathy to understand what this career is like in the space and why you may be put in a position to have to do that type of thing because you've been in that position before. And, and, and so you know why at certain points in your career, whether it's algorithm, whether it's a breakup, whether it's this thing, that thing, whatever. You know what Bradley you needs? Bradley, you gotta be humbled. That's what you need. It doesn't sound like you've had it yet. And I, I will invite you to Puerto Rico to spar with me to be humbled. He would, he'll do it. Bradley's a, Bradley's no, he a tough, he'll no, he do won't. it. Bradley. If you're serious, I'm inviting you to come to Puerto Rico to promote my next upcoming fight, and I will spar you, and I will there fucking you humble your ass. That's what if how he problems are solved. It's going to be posted. Be solved. It's going to be posted. That's good. Facts is going to be posted. You can post it. I don't give a fuck, but you got to be humble, my man, because you're running your mouth about my brother, and someone needs to take care of you. Mm -hmm. What if he just and doesn't like... What if he just... And by the way... Listen, I, I really want to help Steiny in that situation because I think, you know, he's a kid from Canada. He didn't know what he was getting into. All of a sudden, you're interviewing Elon Musk. You know, he's getting thrown in that this thing. That is crazy. With, That's with crazy. A, a New York <laughs> fucking comedian that yeah. literally, he looks at people like that. He wants to tear them apart. Yeah. What, did, what, know, did, like, like, what did Andrew say I, about Steiny? He said he has had. He has oh, he had, broke him down. No, he no. He had, he said one statement, which was which was insane. He said he's had the longest unwarranted run for someone with no talent that he's ever seen in his entire life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or so. And or something, he's feeding which, which, into it. He's like, why do you think that about no, me? No, 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 hold on, hold on. That's, that's the internet. internet. No, that's yes, the internet. correct. That's talent, the climate. talent, <laughs> talent, <laughs> shit. correct. Talent is not indicative or representative of success in this environment it's anymore. Not. It's, it's not. not. It is It is how many, and, and that's not me agreeing and saying that Stein is talentless. I don't give a fuck if he has talent or not. This is an unbiased point right here. If you can drive viewership and clicks, and, and, and controversy, mm -hmm. you are doing what needs to be done in this current internet climate. That's right. And and and, and Steiny, for whatever reason, be, maybe it's because he says stupid fucking shit, doesn't prep for the guest, you know, pisses people off, whatever. <laughs> people are shtick. watching. Yeah, that's, they're commenting. that's what he does. Do you know if you go under the comments on an elk video, it, there's a war in every fucking note. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not, we love Kyle. Kyle's such a good guy. He's the brains of the operation. We support him. It's fuck Steiny, kill Steiny. Get Steiny off the show, and we I love Steiny. Steiny's the best. Hey, does Stiney's any of this get, sound familiar yeah. to you? That's you. 100%. We've been through all of 100%. it. 100%. It's the name of the game, 100%. bro. That's what we're here to do. We're here to make commentary and then have people comment on our commentary. We are fucking sheep. We are well, ants. Okay. We're in an ant, I, I, we're in an ant colony. Us too. We're just stupid yeah, humans I know that. running around I know that. building the, the machines that will take us out. 